a cat, cat. Sunshine in my pocket, got that good soul in my feet. Feel that hot blood in my body when it drops. Sharon, is that you? Hey, Deborah. Oh my goodness, you're looking so great. I almost didn't recognize you. What's different? Let me tell you, I'm feeling so much better. My doctor put me on Carpidopa Levodopa and it helps with my shaking and I feel so much happier. What's Carpidopa Levodopa? Carpidopa Levodopa is another name for cinnamon. It's anti-Parkinson's, so that's why it helps my tremors. I'm so happy for you. You look better than you have in years. As a nurse practitioner, I often prescribe Carpidopa Levodopa to patients with Parkinson's or even restless leg syndrome. This is because it's an anti-Parkinson's agent, so it helps with tremors and muscle spasms, and it's technically a catecholamine. The way that this works is that levodopa can cr cross the blood-brain barrier and it can be converted to dopamine. But the reason that carbidopa is so helpful in this medication is that it increases the longevity of the medication. And it does so by inhibiting decarboxylation of levodopa. When prescribing for my patients, I always check a baseline blood pressure and baseline mental status. That's because lack of dopamine can cause depression in patients and also the drug has a tendency to cause orthostatic hypotension. When prescribing, I make sure to tell patients to take it three to four times a day and to make sure that they take it at the same time every single day. It's also important not to double doses. There's also a normal and it's an extended release. For extended release, it's important not to crush. However, you can break the pills in half. Some major contraindications for this drug is history of malignant melanoma or current malignant melanoma. If breastfeeding, it's important to make sure that the benefits outweigh the risks. If they do not, I would not prescribe this medication. Also, do not take this drug with non-selective MAOIs because it can cause a hypertensive crisis resulting in stroke. If you decide to discontinue this medication, it's important to talk to your provider because stopping quickly can have detrimental effects. One thing that's very important to know is that it does take two to four months to take effect, so it's important to still keep with your doses regularly, even if you don't feel like there's a difference. Another note, is that your urine and sweat may darken. Some important things to consider when taking this medication are that it may cause orthostatic hypotension. It also may cause twitching and eye spas spasms. That could indicate overdose, so it's very important to contact your provider if you experience these. Carpidopa levodopa saved my life. It helped get rid of my tremors. Back to my bike game. Common side effects include involuntary coriform movements, hand tremors, fatigue, headache, anxiety, twitching, numbness, weakness, confusion, agitation, insomnia, nightmares, orthostatic hypotension, nausea, anorexia, abdominal distress, dry mouth, flatulence, and dysphagia. Adverse side effects include neuroleptic malignant syndrome, suicidal ideation, hemolytic anemia, leukopenia, agranulocytosis, and thrombocytopenia. Keep dancing.